Hi Cancer, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share and hit that subscribe button. If you are already a continued subby, thank you so much for all of your support. It truly means the world. My sincerest apologies for last week's video not being up. And the reason being is somebody actually reported the video. I'm not entirely sure why, because there wasn't any swearing or anything in it that I think was derogatory to anyone or anything but for some reason the video was pulled so I am sincerely sorry about that but it was out of my control. With that said I have a new product for you. This week's offering is the fundamentals of cord cutting, the how, the what, the why, the when, the where. Uh, so if you would like to get that please check out the description box, uh, link in the description box below. Uh, the first 20 of you will get it for half price. With that said I would like to bless all of my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So let's have a look my dear Cancers, my moon sign brothers and sisters. Uh, what are you releasing, removing or letting go of from your life path this week? What are you releasing, removing or letting go of from your life path this week? And this week you get the star card, right? Okay, this is interesting. The star card means that you're letting go of some aspect of your tribe. The, you know, and that's always a difficult experience to have. Uh, and the reason I say that it's a difficult experience to have is because sometimes we really do get attached to people, but sometimes we need to let them go because they are destructive or detrimental for ourselves. Also, the other part of this is it's really about evolution of your tribe, right? The fact that you're letting go of the star card means that some aspect of your tribe or your commitments to your friends and those that you hold dear needs to change or it needs to evolve and uh, you know the truth of the matter is there are some people that we just have to leave behind in life and the reason being is because you know uh, ultimately the new version of ourselves because we're always in flux of creating who we are the new version of ourselves cannot be created with the old pattern of what we surround ourselves with Take a moment to really think about what that means for you and to you. Now, uh, what are you working on now? What is at the heart or the meat of the matter? What is at the heart or the meat of the matter? This week you get the Six of Cups. So you're really going over old memories. You are delving through your past to really take the best and the brightest with you, which is really great because, you know, while you might be saying goodbye to some aspect of your, your, your social circle, your group, your tribe, your family, while you might be letting that go, the Six of Cups is coming in to say, take all of the good stuff with you. If you are deciding that there are certain friendships that no longer work for you, take all of the happy memories with you. Uh, if you are saying goodbye to a family member for any reason, take all of the happy memories with you. The Six of Cups is basically saying to you, the best and brightest of every connection that you have ever made in your life is what you should always carry with you. Of course, take the lessons because, you know, if you forget the lessons, then you, you know, effectively never be able to claim your blessings. That's how I see it. But with this Six of Cups is what you're working on now. It's really asking you to cultivate your memory bank to really comb through all of your relationships and say, right, this connection may not be what it was, but I still have every good bit of uh, enjoyment, joy, happiness, love, laughter, peace, prosperity that we shared together. And I will always be able to carry that with me right here. So what are you welcoming in? What is the energy that's trying to break its way into your life? This week, you get the temperance card. This is about the peace that comes from knowing that something has come to a close, to a satisfactory ending. When I see this here as what you're welcoming in, it's about patience, it's about balance for sure, but it's really about spiritually being able to accept and work through the uh, experiences that we're having. This, pro this process of temperance is the process of alchemy, right? So it's about taking all of the beauty, all of the good stuff that you can and transmuting that into some kind of fuel for the path that you have ahead. Um, 
Cancer, it looks like a really spiritual and a really profound month, uh, week for you guys. And it really feels like you are delving through the past. I mean, Pisces has a lot of links to the past anyway. You know, we, you, <laughs> I'm a moon sign Cancer. We have this uncanny ability to really, you know, go through the past and relive it almost as if it were real. And you, you know, sometimes that can be of detriment, but actually if you can go through all of your memory banks and relive all of the good memories and all of the amazing parts of your connection with someone or something or some place, then ultimately you can take that love with you wherever you go in the world and wherever they might go in the world. Whatever the separation is that happens this week or has already happened and sees you working through this week, just know that there is so much love for you in the universe and ultimately you yourself are made of that and from that place. I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have an amazing week. Let me know how it shapes up for you if it's not too personal. Um, take care and I will see you very soon for more videos.